Jesus, there's a ba bass all over that thing, dude. Oh, buddy. Yes, look at that cow, bro. Oh, look at that tank, dude. <laughs> Hey there folks and welcome back to Cambo Trout Fishing. So I know I've been gone for a while, I've been away actually in Michigan for work, but this is a trip that I took before I left for Michigan, about two weeks ago with my buddy and fellow Legion of Anglers teammate, Brandon, otherwise known as 410 Commando. We went, we launched in the upper Chesapeake Bay, and we got into a pretty good bite with some big snakehead and bass, as well as a few other species you'll see throughout the video. Stick around at the end for tips on the gear, the pattern, everything we learned out there, so that hopefully you can use it for your own success on the water. But for now, let's get to the action. Now I'm like a kid in the candy store, man. <laughs> now, now it's hitting. Uh-oh. You got a name for that thing yet? <laughs> I feel like it needs one, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. These perch are really going to have me put on a small mess. They just, yeah, just lighten me up. Now, where I really got lit up was off the point of the dock. Oh, that hit right there too, though. But they're just too small to get hooked on this for the most part. Unless we get some big do yellows you, running. Do you realize, like, like I was? Oh, got him! Is that, is that a snake or a cat? That's a snake, bro. That's a snake all day. <laughs> you got her? There you go. Boom. <laughs> I did it. All right, strong. All right, strong. You got to live up to it now, bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I did it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, dude, man. I was here for it. I was here for it. Look at that. Hold on. Let me get a picture of that. Hold on. <laughs> I got the video rolling. But I'm going to get a picture of that. There we go. <laughs> good picture? Yep. Here, okay, will you, uh, I think what my you need? phone is behind it. Alright. Drive me a couple with this. <laughs> I did it. That's f***ing awesome, dude. Got you, dude. Thanks, man. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. I him, but I caught him on this little dinky rod. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a, I had a tackle company tell me yesterday if I catch a snakehead on this rod with their lure, I get free tackle for life. <laughs> so that's why I was screaming and hooting and hollering. <laughs> we got video evidence, man. Ain't, ain't no denying this one. <laughs> we, oh, that was awesome. We, we got that hit from start to finish. Oh, good. Oh, I got you a little bit. Yup. Well, you should be happy. We're both bleeding. <laughs> hey, little buddy. Thank you. you. You don't know how much you, uh, how valuable you are, dude. You don't, <laughs> you don't know what you just gave him. We're going to just sink, slinking on down. Another perch. Yeah. That's a better yellow. Oh, there he goes. But anyway. Oh, that was a hit. Yeah. I thought I was pulling it over the stick. Yeah, that was I, like I was literally about to say that stick was about to get the business. Like that, that was on the tip of my tongue. Cause I, I thought for sure that was a stick. Cause I saw the stick, 
and then I kind of looked away. When I felt it, I was like, oh, I'm bumping over a stick. I saw it swirl, and then the bubbles come up. And uh -huh. like, oh, that was a fish. I was like, yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> watched him do a donut. Yup. Now, I have already outfished Rashawn on this boat. Oh, uh, Yeah. You do not want to get your name put on that list. Uh, yeah, I need to pull through. I need to get my sh together. There's fish. There's a fish. Another bass. I was wondering where all these bass were, man. There you go. Oh, a little bassy. Look at him. SS Custom. Actually, I keep saying SS Custom. American Snakehead Custom. Thanks, little buddy. Let me smell you. Oh, yeah. I don't know because I grew up with it or what, dude. But the smell of bass. Ah, I love it. I can land fish, dude. It happens. <laughs> the way I've described the high-end gear, so I mean, anytime you're dealing with fishing, whether it's casting distance, casting accuracy, you know, load up power, being able to deal with the, like the strength of the fish, breaking strength, all of that. At the end of the day, the high-end gear to me just gives you a few more percentage points in your direction for being able to handle and land that fish. But it doesn't mean you can't get it done with your mid or even low range gear because i've done it for years like that so bye you know like i started getting serious about catfish gear first mm -hmm. because i started catching giant catfish regularly yeah like that'll do it lesser gear yep was not cutting no nah, it's not gonna hold up like i was destroying i was taking brand new gear and destroying it right there in front of people my buddy went out bought two brand new combos and just wanted to catch a fish with his own shit, and he destroyed them both within an hour and a half <laughs> like you know what I mean it is, yep. it is but like we put ourselves in a position exactly but like yeah. my, my snakehead slash bass gear has really been some of the last stuff to get up there fish fish Nah, I'll be good. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. That's another bass. They're hanging off these walls. These bass are hanging off these walls. I just stayed on the retrieve. I thought I missed it. Yep. I, but he hit and just went for deep water. He hit in close and was just heading out deep. Fish. Oh, he got off. I don't know what happened there. The butt of my rod got caught on my vest or some stupid shit. I like how we're making our way down this path simply by you hooking the fish. <laughs> There's a nice bass. That's a nice bass. Yeah. There we go. Oh, dude, what the? Oh, if you listen, help! I gotta tighten the drag a little bit on here. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good bass, man. Oh, I got some good jumps out before she said goodbye, though. <laughs> Oh man, that was a good one. Oh man. That spark shad, dude. I love my spark sheds. Jesus, there's a bass all over that thing, dude. I mean, as soon as it's hitting the water, they're on it. That's another nice bass, dude. Another nice one. Yeah. Woo, buddy. That's a nice bass, dude. That's a chunk. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, dude. I got her. Look at that. There we go, folks. I ain't letting you fall and get hurt, girl. That ain't happening. You can just chew me up. Ah. You get a little selfie video on this one. Ah, ah, ah. You're chewing me up good. I like it. <laughs> My thumb gonna be tore up. I don't know what number of bass that is that's been hitting me on this American Snakehead inline spinner. That's paired with the four inch Mega Bass Spark Shad. I'm telling you, these retaining walls over here, these wooden retaining walls, have been absolutely fire for these bass today. Ah, oh, smells so good. All right, buddy. Thank you. Uh, you see that tail too, underside of that caudal fin. 
Either she's getting ready to fan a bed or she's been fanning it. Not sure which, but thank you, gorgeous. There you go. And she's off. I mean, as soon as it hit the water, they're on it. Now, I think I should go ahead and swing us out, circle around. All right. I'm doing something. <laughs> Just trying to do it too much. <laughs> See, I made it too hard. <laughs> Run it down to like 80. Just turn it towards you to like 80. Gotcha. Got two well seasoned bag of chips, man. We're, Royal Farms was letting me down for a while there. They just kept giving me a bunch of under seasoned chips, and I won't even eat that shit. It ain't worth the calories. But those two bags I had today were on point. I can't stand lightly. I can't stand lightly seasoned anything, man. Like, what is the point? Oh, that's a yellow perch from. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I gotta do some more spark shad shopping, man. I only got a few left, and most of them are chartreuse, and I haven't been having the luck on the chartreuse lately. And hey, little buddy. Yellow's got a, they got a warm place in my heart, man. Aside from the fact they're just gorgeous fish, they are good eating too, though. I don't eat them all that often because I don't come like cleaning them. If I'm gonna clean a fish, I'd rather clean a fish that got a little more size to it, you know? Make it worth my time, but I do love yellow perch because they're the first bite of like the pre-spring. You know what I'm saying? And man, I've had some fun on those yellow perch trips. God, I've caught some yellow perch. Folks, we're getting ready to round out the day here. We've gone through some bass, some perch, one snake. We can see what we get this last area. Let's get to the fishing. As soon as I turn the camera off, there she is. Mean little <laughs> You were saying? <laughs> now it's time for me to hook into a catfish and think I got a big snake head. Oh man, you had me excited. Yeah, I had me excited. <laughs> Let me see what I can do about this. I'm free. Are you free? Okay. Y'all should be coming out with this low tide, or the tide falling rather. Pretty low. I think it's supposed to fall really hard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Net. Net, 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 net. Where's it at? Got it. Oh, buddy. Yes, look at that cow, bro. Oh, look at that tank, dude. <laughs> that is a tank, man. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, we were just talking about them. Yeah. Uh, grippers are to your right. Look at that. Let me rescue my spinner bait that everybody swears I don't use. <laughs> That's a beast. Yeah, dude. That fish is thick for days and got the length. Bait is in this rubber net, some kind of fierce. Yeah, I've been there with that for certain. I got my finger pretty good on that. I don't know with what. Yeah, figure that out. Huh. Yeah, I know. Twins. I know, right? <laughs> me to make you an electrical tape band aid like I got. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Oh, there you go. That'll help. Yeah, unhook yourself. Thank you. Rip his lip out. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, not in there solid yet. Got her. Yeah, you think you're slick, but we're slicker. <laughs> you ain't our first snake. We know your tactics, sir. Oh, dude, I was down there for the Virginia tournament. Uh, snakehead broke uh, the guy who was running it, Mark, broke his phone screen, man. No kidding. Thrashed around the kayak and headbutted the shit out of his phone screen, spider webbed it all to shit. Look at that. That's a snake right there, dude. All right, get in the camera. Look at that. Yeah. That's what we came here for. Got you, bro. Just under 28, or right at? Yeah. Gotcha. My best one of the year so far. That's a solid fish, dude. Solid fish. When you set that hook and that thing loaded up and it didn't really move all that much, I knew you got a really good bass or a good snake. <laughs> with the attitude on the release. <laughs> I can also officially say I bested the two snakehead grips. <laughs> Man, 
Undeniable. It feels good to knock them giants off your lips. <laughs> All right, come on, snakes. Come on, I need a, I need a straight up 32 now. 32 or bigger. When I, when I came in, man, it was like gold. Yup. Steve and Rashawn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't initiate it, but I've started being a little bit more free with just saying these fish are a blessing, man. It's like from the sport aspect, oh, that was a hit. Didn't get it though. From the sport aspect to the harvest and you know, the as a resource. It's better eating than any fish out there. Oh, Jeebus! That's, man, you need to cut it out now. Cut it out. Look at the size of that one, too. I'm waiting on her. That's even bigger. Look what you cut it out already, man. <laughs> wow. Jeebus, Jeebus, Jeebus. Yeah, it is. Yep. All right, where are the grips at? Hold on. Up there, we're on my side. I'm just trying to let my. Let me see what I can do here. Oh man. That salt and pepper, dude, they are loving it. All right, hook is free. Just hit me in the <laughs> Ooh, straight nut tap. Look at that. <laughs> oh man. Look at that. Let's mitigate this mess real quick before somebody ends up with a look at them. Yep. Thanks for the assist. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. 29 is thick for days. Yeah. How fat you are. <laughs> Got you, dude. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Is that a fish? I think I'm on. Yep. Another bass, dude. I cannot. <laughs> Bassmaster. Just Steve. I say, just call me Bassmaster today, bro, because that's what I do. I got her. I got her. She'd be a flipper. I got you. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I can do anything for you, girl. Or guys, it probably is. You little buck bass. Little buck bass. Nah, not much I can do for it. I don't see anything to be removed. All right, go on in. <laughs> and so most of the time, people don't associate the snakehead bite with being farther offshore. Even I haven't for like a long time. I'm coming around to it the uh, end of last year and this year though. Get in there towards that edge and bring it out more often than not. Oh. Did you see it? Right around there. Aw, oh, boo, why couldn't you eat? Something boiled big as in there. Oh, you son of a See the bubbles? In there on that grass. Short striking Why did you have to short strike? Why couldn't you just get it? Oh! He bit, he bit my tail off, dude. Bit my tail off. You I gotta get a new trailer. I'll get him for you. Get him, bro. Get the tip of my tail back. <laughs> so with those final short strikes and those final injuries to my pride, <laughs> that pretty much wrapped up our day out here. But all said and done, we had a great time out there. I had a blast on the water. Thanks much to my brother Brandon for showing me around out there. He has put in the work and the time on this stretch of water out here. He knows it like the back of his hand at this point. You should see his maps. It's insane how many times he's tracked himself through here. But anyway, in terms of the most productive patterns that we had this day, I'd say the most productive lures we threw were the American Snakehead Custom Inline Spinner and the Cobra Spinnerbait. We did catch up one also on a MEPS type lure, and I had some hits on a type of small, small spinnerbait. But by and large, American Snakehead Customs ruled the day. 
And with that inline spinner, I was using the 4-inch Mega Bass Spark Shad and Emerald Shiner. You can find links to all the gear that we used out there in the video description. But other than that, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good one.